Hey guys, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about Dear Ejawili, a femin or a feminist manifesto by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And this is a very short pamphlet length novel by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, which serves as a feminist manifesto, yes, and kind of a guidebook to a young mother on how to raise her child as a feminist. It started off as a um, letter correspondence via email when um, Jamanda Ngozi Adichie's friend asked her to give her some suggestions on how to raise her new little baby girl as a feminist. And the epistolary style worked out pretty well in this case because she was able to really break it down into 15 sections, short sections that are about a paragraph or two um, in length. And each suggestion deals with a specific topic. There's a topic on um, marriage, there's a topic on gender uh, identity and the expressions that um, are like stereotypically male, stereotypically female and how those shouldn't be necessarily abided by. There's a section on um, sexuality, there's a section on um, culture, specifically Nigerian culture and how these like um, gender roles have impacted the overall culture. Um, there's a section also about how to navigate being a black woman or a black girl child in a world that um, seems to overtly value whiteness and yeah so there's a lot in this text it is very short but by no means is that a reason to state that this is less important than any other text um I ended up giving it three out of five stars, not because I don't think it's super important, but because I wanted it to be even longer. I was like, please give me more suggestions. I like this or more examples. Um, and yeah, so that were, was my very brief thoughts on this. What I wanted to go ahead and do at this point is include my favorite passages, which I will have the quote on the screen and I will read them to you off camera as well. So yes, I hope you enjoy that and that motivates you to pick up this text because I think it's a good, um, not introduction, but a good affirmation and a good, it could serve as a good introduction to someone who's not familiar with feminist like thoughts. Have you read Dear Ijawele? a feminist manifesto in 15 suggestions if so let me know in the comment section i would look forward to knowing your thoughts and i hope everyone is well and i will talk to you all in another video soon show her that she does not need to be liked by everyone tell her that if someone does not like her there will be someone else who will Teach her that she is not merely an object to be liked or disliked. She is also a subject who can like or dislike. In her teenage years, if she comes home crying about some boys who don't like her, let her know she can choose not to be like those boys. Yes, it's hard, I know. Just remembering my crush on Nandi in secondary school. But I wish someone had told me this. Teach her to take pride in the history of Africans and in the Black Diaspora. Find black heroes, men and women in history. They exist. You might have to counter some of the things she will learn in school. The Nigerian curriculum isn't quite infused with the idea of teaching children to have a sense of pride in their history. So her teachers will be fantastic at teaching her mathematics and science and art and music, but you will have to do the pride teaching 
yourself. Teach her about privilege and inequality and the importance of giving dignity to everyone who does not mean her harm. Teach her that the household help is human just like her. Teach her always to greet the driver. Link these expectations to her identity. For example, say to her, in our family, when you are a child, you greet those older than you, no matter what job they do. I want to say something about money here. Teach her never, ever to say such nonsense as, my money is my money and his money is our money. It is vile and dangerous. To have that attitude means that you must potentially accept others' harmful ideas as well. Teach her that it is not a man's role to provide. In a healthy relationship, it is a role of whoever can provide to provide. The linking of shame a female biology. Why were we raised to speak in low tones about periods, to be filled with shame if our menstrual blood happened to stain our skirt? Periods are nothing to be ashamed of. Periods are normal and natural, and the human species would not be here if periods did not exist. I remember a man who said, a period was like shit. Well, sacred shit, I told him, because you wouldn't be here if periods didn't happen.